On any given night, if you go outside and you look up, there's a chance you'll see the moon just hanging out there in the sky. But there's also a chance you won't see the moon. And that all depends on the moon's 29 and a half day schedule. Let me show you how to find the moon with binoculars and almost any telescope. We'll do it quickly, step by step. First, let's see if you can even see the moon from your town. You can always do this by checking out the website, canisethemoontonight.com. And it'll tell you if you can see the moon from your town tonight, and it'll tell you where to look in the sky. Now, before you go outside, download the free Google Sky Map app on your smartphone. It lets you type in any object, like the moon, and then you just follow the pointer on that circle and it takes you right to your target. In this case, it is the moon. Now, please note that the moon might be hiding behind a tree or your neighbor's house or your disapproving HOA president who hates you and your telescope. The moon is so huge that, believe it or not, binoculars work great and bigger binoculars work even better. Just make sure that if you're using binoculars in the front of your house, that you point them up above the neighbor's house. The moon is so big and so bright that you can get pretty good views with almost any kind of telescope, whether it be super cheap or super expensive. The number one rule though is remove the dust cap. The number two rule is to use the lowest magnification eyepiece that you have. Let me show you what I mean real quick. Your telescope probably came with a couple of eyepieces and maybe one of these long tubes here that has Barlow written on it. It'll have a 2X or a 3X. We don't want to use the Barlow lens right now. You can save that to experiment with later. Our concern are the eyepieces. One of these is high magnification, one of these is low magnification. And here's where things get a little bit weird. There's a number written on every eyepiece. Now this one says 25 millimeters and this one says 8 millimeters. And this is where it gets weird. The bigger the number, the lower the magnification and the smaller the number, the higher the magnification. So when we first go out there to find the moon, we want low magnification. So stay with the big number. So you take the eyepiece, you put it in the focuser tube like this and you turn the little screw and lock it down. Now this telescope has the focuser tube on the back end. Your telescope may have it on the front end. Oh yeah, one quick caveat. In this video, I'm assuming that your telescope is the kind that goes left and right and up and down. We call that an alt azimuth mount. Now, if your telescope is the kind that comes on what's called an equatorial mount, don't worry, I have a whole separate video that takes you through step-by-step -step how to set those up. I'll put a link down in the description box. All right, so now at this point, we have a telescope that's ready to be used to look at the moon. The challenge now is to get it pointed at the moon, right? You generally know where the moon is. You can, you can see it, or if you use the sky map, you can find it. Now the idea is to get this whole contraption pointed at the moon. Now, the easiest way really is to put this on the mount. You'll have a tripod typically, and you'll sweep it left and right and up and down until you see a bright flash go across the eyepiece, right? It'll probably be blurry at this point. We'll get to that in a moment. Now that can be a little bit frustrating doing the sweep technique. So what the telescope makers have done is make your life a little bit easier. They've attached this little weak telescope to the outside. Some of you will have something different. I'll get to that in a second. The idea is you locate the moon through this because this is such low magnification. And because this is attached to your main telescope when you're all done, the whole contraption should be pointed at the moon. But some of you might have what's called a red dot finder instead of a viewfinder. This is kind of an interesting thing. It's got a little power switch on the side. You turn that on. That's also a dimmer switch. So turn it all the way up at first. You can adjust it later. When you look through there, it'll show you a red dot that seems to be floating off at infinity. And you move the telescope until that red dot is pointed at the moon. And in theory, since it's attached to the telescope, the telescope will also be pointed at the moon. Now, one thing to note, these use a watch battery that's mounted up here. And what's really common is for the previous user to not turn it off and the battery dies. So they owe you a battery. Now that everything is pointed at the moon, you look through the eyepiece and you turn the focuser wheel. It's either back here on one of these telescopes or it's up front on a reflector telescope. And you go back and forth until the moon is very sharp. Now, after you get a good view, you can change out this eyepiece with the other eyepiece and it'll give you an even closer view. Congratulations, you've just found the moon. Welcome to the world of amateur astronomy. 
If you enjoyed this video, please push that like button and share this video with your friends. Or check out my adventure science fiction novel series available on Amazon now. It's called Red Hope. And check out these other videos while you're visiting here. Thank you for watching.